Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and today I'll be reviewing this Legoland set in front of me. This is set number 40346. It has 1,336 pieces in it and it retails for about 100 US dollars. So this is actually a regional exclusive to Legoland. However, back in March, I believe, they started allowing people to actually buy the set on legoland.com. So if you'd like to purchase this set, you actually can. I know it is an exclusive, but you're actually able to purchase it now. So that's kind of cool. And I know what you're probably thinking, this is very chaotic in front of me. Yes, it is. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of accessories. There's some big builds, small builds. I will definitely be breaking it down for you kind of bag by bag or instruction booklet by instruction booklet. That'll make sense in a little bit. But something kind of cool about this set is that it does come with multiple instruction booklets. There's five instruction booklets in total, which is pretty cool. So it is kind of nice if you want to build with your family or your boyfriend or whoever, you can actually build this set with multiple people. So that's really nice. So me and my husband actually bought the set at Legoland back in March of 2020, and I'm so happy we did. We didn't know that it would be available later on, so we bought it while we could while we were at the park, and we had a great time there. And it's pretty cool, honestly, having a Lego set that represents somewhere that we've been especially since we were just at Legoland kind of recently, recently within like the last year or so, I mean. And I think they did a really good job kind of recreating a bunch of these iconic things from Legoland. So we have the welcome gate here. We have an observation tower. We have a little pirate's ride over here, which is super cute, as well as this dragon roller coaster, which I'll show you all of this a little bit more up close in a second. But something else kind of to note about this set is that there's tons of stickers involved. Everything has stickers on it, which is kind of unfortunate. It's not the worst though, because it does keep the price down. And and I think $100 for this set is more than worth it. I felt very good spending $100 on this set. It comes with a bunch of stuff, especially for someone like me. I'm building an amusement park in my Lego city. And I mean, all of this is gonna go in there and it really will fill it up quite nicely. So for $100, definitely worth it. But anyways, let's dig in. Let me show you a closer look of what we're working with. I love this set. All right, so here's everything that's included in the first instruction booklet, as you can see here. There's a lot that comes in here. Again, there's just a ton of accessories. It's very cluttered when you put everything right next to each other, but it is perfect if you're working on a Lego city or a Lego amusement park or something like that. So it comes with this nice little bench area with a little recycling bin. So that's really sweet. This little flower is kind of cute too. And then it has this little carrot banana thing in a barrel. Honestly, I don't remember the carrot and banana in a barrel when I was there. Um, I must have missed that. I don't remember any healthy options at all while I was there actually. There was maybe a McDonald's. There's just burgers, hot dogs, that kind of stuff. But then I thought this was just really cute, like a really great extra touch to it. We get the little knight's hat as well as a pirate ship hat. And those are just so classic with Lego. They did actually sell those there. So actually being to the park and seeing it in Lego form, it's just kind of cool. Like it's a really nice touch they included that. And then the main feature of this instruction booklet, I guess, is this main gate. And I actually love how this looks. This set is so meta, honestly. It's a very meta set because you actually have to go to Legoland to buy the set. I mean, not right now because it's available online, but usually you would have to go to Legoland to buy it and everything's made to look like Lego and then you're buying a Lego set to build this stuff that already kind of looks like Lego. I don't know. It's just kind of funny. But they did a really good job recreating this gate. Like it looks really cool. It looks exactly like it did at the park. The only difference is this little logo at the top. It looks a little bit different, but the actual logo would have been really hard to recreate. So I totally understand that. And then the little sun over here just looks super cute. And then the flags. I just, I just really like how this looks. The gears don't actually move. Like we have a few gears on here and they don't actually do anything, but I think they're kind of cool. Like it definitely adds to it. And something to note with this set is you see the Florida sticker across there. We chose Florida because that's where we bought the set, that that's like the park we went to, but there's a bunch of other ones here that you can choose from. So depending on what park you went to, you can pick. I mean, you could also just pick whatever sticker you want, I guess, but we went with Florida because that just made the most sense for us. And then one of my favorite parts about the set is this little Lego stand. I just think it looks so cute. It has some of the classic Lego themes. We have Duplo, I think that's City friends, Ninjago in the back there. So it's really cool. Like obviously there's a bunch of stickers in this set, but I do really like this. I just think it's such a cool touch and it'll be perfect for my Lego Disney World. I am so excited. And then over here we have a little ticket stand with, it looks like brochures in the front and a little park map up there. So there's a lot going on in this set. All these little accessories are perfect. Again, if you're building an amusement park, this set is so worth it. I cannot wait to put this in my Disney World. 
All right, so now here's everything that's included in the second instruction booklet. I know it's weird kind of splitting it up this way, but it just seemed like the best way to organize everything. So let's just start with the coolest part of this, <laughs> the skull ride. There's a lot going on on here and there's a lot of details. So let me just bring that up close for you guys. So this ride basically features these three barrels around it and it does move, it's pretty cool. So you can either turn it like this to kind of just rotate the barrels. That's not super exciting. I wish that there was a better way to raise it up because as it is right now, like it's sliding across the table and I don't want to scratch the table. So I'm not actually going to do that that much, but I want to raise it up so that it'll spin around kind of like this because all the barrels do spin at the same time. And I think that's super cool, but I'll have to figure out how to actually like motorize this at some point. But just looking through here, we have some pretty cool accessories. We have this little parrot here. He looks pretty cool. And then the little gold stuff makes sense with like a pirate theme. So that's, that's pretty fitting. And then this little frog here, you can see as it turns a little bit more. So yeah, there's a lot of little accessories inside his mouth. There's actually a little ruby that you can kind of see. And then of course there's more stickers, right? With this pirate's logo here, but there's a lot going on on this. And I do really like this. Again, I do want to motorize it at some point. I'm not sure how to do that. I'll figure it out. We'll see. We'll see if I can do that. But yeah, this part's really cool. If nothing else, it does just look cool. So it doesn't really need to be motorized, but we'll see what I can do. And then this here is another really awesome build. I'm so happy to have this. It's a sign that kind of points to all the different rides in the park, so that's pretty cool. We have the pirates there, we have the submarine, observation tower, the dragon, the Lego shop, Miniland. I think that's everything. I think I got them all. But yeah, this will be really cool because it does point you to all the different rides that are in this set. So I do really like that. It's a nice touch and that's something you totally see at amusement parks, so. That's pretty cool. I think it would be kind of neat at some point to like make my own stickers for my amusement park and change them up a little bit. But for now, this is perfect. Like as a set on its own, it's awesome. And then over here we have kind of like a park map kind of thing. That's pretty cool. So it has that dragon roller coaster there. We have that pirates uh, ride, that one <laughs> over there. And then the observation tower, which we'll see in a second. But yeah, I mean, that's just such a nice addition to this set. Here we have a hot dog stand. Honestly, there's not much to say about it. It looks really nice. I'm happy to have it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say about this, but it looks pretty cool. We also get this sign here that I really like. At all the amusement parks I've been to, there's always like a little photo station. So you just kind of set that down like that. And it comes with a sticker with a really happy photographer on it. So that's cute. And then of course you get a minifigure with a camera. And I'll go more into depth on the minifigures later, but for now I just wanted to show you all the pieces that come with these sets. So, I mean, that's really nice. It's, there's not really much else to say about that. And then finally we have the submarine here. There's a lot of details details here, but I don't really understand exactly what's happening. I didn't ride this when I was there, so I can't really tell you too much about the ride itself, but it is kind of neat. The propeller on the back does spin, so that's pretty cool. It looks like you're picking stuff up with it. I don't really understand completely, but it does have some motion to it, which is kind of cool. My favorite part about the submarine is probably the crab, honestly. It's just such a cool little guy. He's just hanging out there. And then there's just a bunch of accessories around it that really dress it up. Again, I don't really know too much about the ride itself, but it is a nice addition to the set. The third instruction booklet is Miniland, which you can see here. And if you've been to Legoland before, you'll know that they basically have this area in the middle of the park, or at least that's what it was in Florida, where they have a bunch of Lego builds. And it's really cool. They do landmarks or cities, iconic buildings, the Statue of Liberty, stuff like that. So it's really neat. I'll talk about the minifigures later, but I will just note that it comes with a wheelchair piece, which is really cool. I think that is my first wheelchair piece I've gotten. But something about this that's kind of nice is that it splits up. These are kind of one big thing, but these two split up. So if you wanted to make it like a path going between them, you could definitely do that. So there's a lot of options here and there's just a bunch of landmarks all around. Honestly, this is probably my least favorite part about this build, but if you're into micro builds, this is for you, 100%, because there's just a lot going on. We have the Statue of Liberty here. We have Big Ben. It looks like maybe Holland with a windmill in the back. And then up here, it looks like a train. I'm not sure exactly what scape this is or what this is replicating, but it looks cool. <laughs> and then I think this is Mount Fuji. That's what I'm thinking, because it looks like we have the cherry blossom tree, maybe, and then a mountain in the back. So I'm not exactly sure on that, but that's kind of what I'm guessing. And yeah, kind of what I'm planning to do with this, if I do put it into my city, is have it split up like this and then have a path going down either side so that people could, you know, just like walk through and just kind of take a look at everything that's going on as long as I space them right so they don't get stuck. But you know, like that kind of thing. I think that'll be pretty cool. Now we have what's included in the fourth instruction booklet. And honestly, this is my 
favorite part of it. Let's just look at this for a second, just so you know what's inside and why it's just kind of funny. So this is one of the rides there. It's called the Dragon and it's a really cool roller coaster. Honestly, when we were there, no one else was in the park. Like, I mean, that's an exaggeration. There were people there, but it was very empty that day. So we were able to go on this multiple times. It probably looks more like that. It wasn't just like a weird circle thing, but it was a blast. We got to ride in the front, the back, all that stuff. But when you're looking at this, just the instruction booklet's kind of weird. Cause when you look at it, it's like, why is this mother and baby trapped inside? this loop. Like that doesn't really make any sense. I think it's kind of weird. Why did they do that kind of thing? But anyways, let's actually look at it. So this is the roller coaster built and I love this thing. It looks so cool. It's very much based on the castle theme from Lego, which, you know, you can probably tell. It has this dragon roller coaster on it and there's no motorization or anything like that, but it is pretty cool. It does kind of get stuck sometimes a little bit, but I think that's just my own fault. Honestly, maybe I'm just kind of bad at sliding it. It does not fit on that roller coaster, the large red one. I think it's the creator expert version of it that we have in our amusement park. It doesn't actually fit on there just because the dragon's head is a bit tall. However, it is kind of cute on its own and I don't think it's a problem that it doesn't fit on the red one. So anyways, I really do like this part of the build. It is very cool. The dragon roller coaster itself is really awesome. There's a lot of cool details on it. I like the use of these plant pieces for its ears. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. I really do like that. And then unfortunately, a lot of these are stickers, as you can see. However, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It really looks okay. And it does keep the cost of the set down, which I do appreciate. And then when we flip it around a little bit, you can see what's on the other side. I actually do really like that there's these additional things added here. Do we have a toilet and a baby changing station, which is kind of funny. I know some people do get kind of upset when they look at Lego cities and there's not a toilet or there's not a baby changing area. So this one does actually come with them. Something kind of weird is that they're just completely exposed. So it's nice that the roller coaster kind of goes through this way. If it was going the other way, you would just like see someone using the toilet, which would be kind of awkward for everybody. <laughs> but it is actually kind of nice. I do like it. It's kind of a weird detail to have in a Lego set, but I do appreciate it. Like it'll definitely be useful for me when I'm building my amusement park. All right, and so now here's the last instruction booklet build. This is number five and it's an observation tower. Initially we thought it was like an air traffic control room. However, on here it says observation tower on that sign. So that's what it is, which makes a lot more sense than something that you would see at an airport. <laughs> but this is actually a pretty cool build. It looks very simple. And honestly, on here, I was not very excited about it. Like it's very basic, looks very bland. However, it looks so much better in person. I think the set as a whole just looks so much better once it's actually built and once you look at it, because there's a lot of really cool details that I think get missed from looking just at the box or just the instructions. And so something about the set is that it actually does move. So if you turn this little red gear on the bottom, the top rotates around. So it's one of those things where you kind of take an elevator up to the top or maybe it goes up and down, that kind of thing. And you can just get a good site for Legoland or wherever you're at. I know some cities have this as well. I do wish it was a little bit taller though, because once this is placed in my Lego city, I have actually put it there just to see how tall it is compared to other things. It's really not that tall. For something that's an observation tower, you would expect it to be a bit bigger. So I might mod it and just add an extra thing of white or something like an extra layer. So it's a little bit taller. Hopefully it's sturdy. I don't really know. We'll see what happens. Also on this, you'll notice that there's a little Lego flag on the top and there's a bunch of Lego stickers in this set, which is kind of cool. It's Legoland, so I guess that makes perfect sense. But there's also a bunch of larger pieces on the top. These red pieces up here are quite large, which is pretty cool. You have four of them that make up the whole circle. So those are pretty big. And then this one's a big piece as well. So there's not really too much more to say about this part, but I do actually like it. Again, this looks a lot better in person than it does on the box. All right, and so now let's take a closer look at the minifigures in this set. There's not really too much that's exclusive to this Legoland set. However, these two are. And so I figured I would start here. When we look at the front torso printing on these two, you notice that they're identical, but I think they're pretty cool because it has that Lego minifigure as part of their name tag, which I see at the Lego store. I see that at Brixton Minifig, so I just think that's a really cool torso printing. On the left, we have a male minifigure, and on the right, she's a female. And when we flip her around, something kind of nice to see is this hat is pretty cool. It has a little ponytail sticking out from the back, so I really like that. Plus, on the back of both of these, it says Legoland, and I just love that. I love having these minifigures. That's just so cool to me. And then when you take off her hat, you notice that she has an alternate face printing where she looks a 
bit more scared on the front I think she was a bit happier or just kind of like content so I just think that's kind of cool here we have a woman and a child the woman features a nice pink blouse and the son has a nice hoodie on they both do have alternate face printings which is kind of nice here we have a man and a girl and the man's face printing is just so funny to me so I put him on a dragon roller coaster because it looks like he's feeling a bit sick after one of his rides on there. But his sweater features a really nice pattern and then the girl has some glasses on with a star on her shirt. And then when we turn them around you see that the man has an alternate face printing whereas the girl does not. And then here's two more minifigures. I really like the boy's torso though I know we have a few of those somewhere. And then the woman's wearing glasses with what looks like a cardigan and a purple tank top. When we turn them around we see the really sad face printing on the boy he looks very disappointed and here we have another little girl minifigure she just looks adorable I love her torso printing and that cat in the corner is just adorable the torso printing continues around to the back for her and unfortunately there's no alternate face printing on this one and here's another minifigure of course I actually really like this minifigure a lot I love that green hoodie he has and then his face printing is just really funny it looks like he just got off a ride and he's just not really feeling too great maybe and here when we turn him around you can see that there's some more printing on the back and he has that hood going down there plus he has an alternate face printing and he looks a lot happier there which is good and this set actually came with a wheelchair piece so that's what this looks like here this is actually my first ever wheelchair piece so that's pretty cool and finally here we have a baby there's not really too much to say about this it comes with a nice little stroller and a baby inside I mean it's really cute it's nice to have a stroller because that just makes sense at Legoland or like at any amusement park really so it's really nice to have that all right well thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this review of the Legoland set I love this set it was so much fun to build me and my husband cannot wait to add it to my Disney World I'm gonna have like a Legoland area inside my Disney World so definitely stay tuned for that that's gonna look really cool and I definitely recommend this set if this set interests you at all I totally recommend to get it especially while it's still available online because I don't know how long that'll last I have no regrets about buying it it is such a cool set and especially since I've been there to Legoland in Florida it was just perfect for us but anyways thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time